Welcome back to Energy Lab. This is the third video of the trilogy about Nurai Island and Enerware's uh, uh, sustainable and renewable energy solution for Siam Nurai Island. We're standing here at the 80 kilowatt peak floating solar plant. Um, it is very special because there haven't been a lot of uh, floating solar plants on seawater so far. So this is one of the few, probably there's a handful of them worldwide. Um, it, this makes a lot of sense for places where space is limited and Sayonurai um, uh, Island is an island resort where they want to use the space uh, for villas and the uh, hotel resort so that's why we decided to build a floating solar. Um, let's take a closer look at it now. Here now on the floating solar plant and all of the, the equipment that was used is from has marine specification basically what that means is that in the environment that it is it should be able to survive for the next 25 years frankly uh, eventually only time will tell uh, but uh, we'll, we'll have a look at it uh, so far what we can see is that the plant is producing slightly higher than expected. This could be because of the cooling effect or because of the reflection of the water. But yeah, um, we will find out over time. Now let's look at the anchoring and dive into the water. We've just now completed the taping uh, of the floating solar. It was an amazing experience. I mean, in general, the whole trilogy was a lot of fun being back here on the Rye Island. Um, one thing that I mentioned to uh, forgot to, to mention on the floating solar is, um, but it might be an obvious thing that currents uh, are a challenge. Uh, here in the Gulf, there are not very strong currents, but we can already see that currents are a challenge for floating solar. But anyway, so um, this concludes this, this trilogy on Nurai Island. I hope you enjoyed it and um, hopefully I'll see you next week soon for the next exciting renewable energy project. See you then. Bye.